Hi, welcome to this Corbin Miles primary video on metric units for distance. In this video, we're going to look at what the common metric units for measuring lengths and distances are, and we're going to look at how to convert between them. So first of all, let's have a look at some of the measurements. So whenever you're measuring very small things, we would often use millimeters, so mm millimeters, and they're the little marks in between each of the centimeters on a ruler. Okay, next, obviously, then we've got centimeters, so they would be for measuring slightly larger things, uh, maybe sort of the length of a pencil or the length of a keyboard or um, a book. Um, then for sort of taller things, perhaps the sort of measuring the height of a person or measuring maybe the lengths between sort of lines on a rugby pitch or, you know, running track, we would use meters. And then for larger distances, maybe the distance between towns or cities, we would use kilometers. OK, um, so they are millimeters, centimeters, meters and kilometers. OK, let's look at how to convert between them. So first of all, one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So that means to change from centimeters into millimeters, we times by 10 and to change from millimeters into centimeters, we divide by 10. Next, one meter equals 100 centimeters. So that means to change from meters into centimeters, we times by 100 and to change from centimeters into meters, we divide by 100. And finally, one kilometer, one km equals 1000 meters. So to change from kilometers into meters, we times by 1,000, and change from meters back into kilometers, we divide by 1,000. So let's have a look at some questions now. Okay, first question. Our first question says, change seven centimeters into millimeters. So to change from centimeters into millimeters, we times by 10. So we would do seven times 10, which is equal to 70 millimeters. And that makes sense because if one centimeter is 10, uh, 10 millimeters, that means that seven centimeters would be 70 millimeters. Okay, next, change 80 millimeters into centimeters. So to change from millimeters into centimeters, we divide by 10. So 80 divided by 10 is equal to eight. So answer would be eight centimeters. And again, that makes sense because if one centimeter is 10 millimeters, 80 millimeters then would be eight centimeters. Right, change or convert one, uh, 19 centimeters into millimeters. So change from centimeters into millimeters would be times by 10. So 19 times 10 would be equal to 190 millimeters. And again, that makes sense because if one centimeter is 10 millimeters, 19 centimeters would be 190 millimeters. And finally, convert 14 millimeters into centimeters. Well, the change from millimeters into centimeters would be divided by 10. So we're gonna do 14 divided by 10. So that means that we're gonna move the digits one place to the right, so it'll become 1.4 centimeters. And again, that makes sense because one centimeter is 10 millimeters, and then so 14 would be 1.4 centimeters. Okay, next, now we're gonna focus on centimeters and meters. So change three meters into centimeters, well, that's going to be 300 centimeters because three times 100 is 300, or one meter is 100, so three meters would be 300. Next, convert 500 centimeters into meters. So to change from centimeters into meters, we divide by 100. So it's going to be five meters. And again, that makes sense because 100 centimeters is one meter, so 500 would be five meters. Okay, Ch uh, convert 2.2 meters into centimeters. So we're gonna times by 100. So 2.2 times by 100. So that means we'll move the digits two places to the left. So it'll become 22, 220. So 220 centimeters. And finally, convert 750 centimeters into meters. So that means we're going to be divide, so change from centimeters into meters, you divide by 100. So that's gonna be 750 divided by 100, which will be equal to 75, 7.5. So 7.5 meters. Okay, now we're gonna look at how to convert between meters and kilometers. So we're gonna be dividing by a thousand, the change from kilometers into meters, and dividing by a thousand, the change from meters into kilometers. So change four kilometers into meters, well, we're going to times by a thousand. So four times a thousand would be 4,000 meters. Convert 8,000 meters into kilometers, well, we're gonna be dividing by a thousand, so that'll be eight kilometers. Convert 12.3 uh, kilometers into meters, well, we're gonna be timesing by a thousand, so 12.3 times by 1,000 will mean we're gonna be moving the digits three places to the left. So that'd be 123, 1,230, 
12,300 meters. And our last question here is to convert 7,500 meters into kilometers. So we're going to divide by 1,000. So 7,500 divided by 1,000 will mean we're going to move the digits three places to the right. So it'll be 750, 75, 7.5 kilometers. And our last question is to convert three kilometers into centimeters. So this one's a two-step question. We're going to change from kilometers into meters. So we're going to times by 1,000. So that would be 3,000 meters. And now we're going to change from meters into centimeters. So we'll times by 100. So that'll be 300,000 centimeters. And that's it.